All right, so we're headed to what's become quickly one of our most favorite places to fish in all of West Virginia, which says a lot. Many of West Virginia spots are, are some of our favorites simply because it's just so beautiful in this state. Now, this is the Cranberry River. And one of the many reasons why we like this place is the water is so crystal clear that you can see the golden rainbows. You can spot the rainbows hiding right behind them and just have a great time watching the bobber go straight down. We're gonna bring you with us today here on the Cranberry River and show you one of West Virginia's most treasured places. Hey guys, I just now threw some strawberry shortcake on the hook, which is not cake at all. It's natural deluxe mixed with a premium. And let's see here. Oh. Look here, a SpongeBob trout. Perfect. Can't wait to catch some more. I'm ready. Oh, wow. Yes. That is a good rainbow, actually. And that's that's, that's small compared to the other one. Yeah, that And that's a nice fish. That one right there. I mean, this right here is a two-pound fish yeah. all day. And, and that one over there makes it look like a midget. Got this pretty little rainbow right here off the cliff. I should have been probably standing down there next to the creek, but uh, I stood up here on the cliff, threw it by him about a few times, and he finally grabbed her. You know, when I'm at home, I uh, got this little combination I call the strawberry shortcake, two premiums and a natural. It doesn't matter if I'm at home in the panhandle and now I'm on the cranberry and I'm still crushing them on the strawberry shortcake. Just two premiums and one natural. Let's give it a shot. Another nice gold trout here on the cranberry river. I wouldn't try to yank him. Let him bring it over here. Yeah, I, I'm on. Got him. In the net. You know those naturals? Check this out. Another beautiful gold trout here on Cranberry River. Hey, I know he come out. I got him out It's a there. rainbow. Nice rainbow. Oh, Going horse him, Pat. Take your time. Guess where he was at? Where I told you? Dude, that's a tank rainbow, Pat. Got yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> Today I started using these yellow jackets and I've been catching them every cast. I've only got about one left. And look at this. Let's go. Got him. Another bow, baby. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get Bobber down with Pat when here we go. Rainbows are coming in as quickly as we're casting out. Ooh, double. Double. There is a double. Pat, no. you got one? No. What do you got there, Pat? Bottom. Oh, he's got a gold one. Pat, you got a fish. You got a fish. Mama's gonna be proud. There ain't no fish on that boat. Mama's proud, baby. I broke off, so. Uh oh. Look at that, this guy. Rainbow. Another one, baby. Another gold. Good job, brother Mike. Caught on the net, and we got oh, him in the net. Oh, whoa, 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 easy. Check out this West Virginia gold trout the week after gold rush, and we are still catching them. Hey, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what I've been doing to catch these goldens, a few rainbows. My, fa my second favorite fire bait garlic salmon egg I was I've been using a uh, thing a little bit of everything today put this on they started nailing it the garlic scent on this is so strong one time I opened it up Dracula started puking blood behind me I can't help it. next time he'll know better won't he he'll know better next time this is how you put it on the hook Don't worry about it. Just like that. That's the simplest way, but I have another way I like using it. Put it in your hand. Uh-oh. That's the good stuff. 
Ooh, garlic salmon egg. That's a nice one too. Right, right, right behind you, right behind you. Nice golden. I love this Nice golden. Pat just set his personal yeah. record. He landed three today. <laughs> What's crazy is we're, we've probably caught, I don't know, two dozen golden rainbows today. We always come to West Virginia a full week after Gold Rush, simply because Gold Rush is too crazy. There's just too many people here. And this still state is still loaded with this right here. Beautiful golden rainbows. Ain't y'all ever mined for gold? Man. Man, I want y'all to see how good of a job they do at the Gold Rush here. I've caught literally dozens today of golden sir never happened to me before i mean they're hard to get to hit but not when you got the right stuff put some little bit of potsky garlic salmon egg on there look there the gold has been mined baby today's episode of potsky outdoors comes to you from the walk-in section of beautiful cranberry river here in west virginia we're nearest to Somerville, uh, and it's a place that is no secret amongst any West Virginia anglers. Reason being, it probably gets stocked with about 35,000 rainbow, brooks, and goldens a year. Clearly, there is a 15-mile catch-and-keep section of this 24-mile-long river. It's an incredible place to go. Now, today, we started at Cranberry Camp. And we kind of cheated a little bit. We hopped aboard with Rick Green of Cranberry Adventures, and we had his mules take us right in four or five miles away where there weren't many other anglers, only people that were camping back there. It's a heck of an experience. We would do it again in a heartbeat. Anybody knows Cranberry Campground is full almost every night in the spring. There is so much fishing pressure, the fish get taken out pretty quickly. So we called Rick and said, Rick, take us back there, please. He does it for a nominal fee. And we got to experience some of West Virginia's best fishing almost all by ourselves. Now you can walk into this area you can ride your bike into this area, but remember, once you get to Cranberry Camp, the next 10 miles of water are walk-in, mule-in, or bicycle-in. But once you get up there, you're going to have a heck of a time fishing, mostly from March to May when the river is stocked weekly, and it does get stocked again in the fall. Now remember, this place is stocked all the way from Dogway Fork to the Woodbine Recreation Area, and there's a lot of water to cover there. However, we went deep in just so we could avoid crowds and it really paid off. Now what else paid off was the baits that we used today. We used yellow jacket salmon eggs. Nobody doesn't know those in West Virginia. It's no secret. It's one of the most popular baits. We crushed them on that as well, which we normally do. Now you can see some drone footage here as well. You can see goldens in the water from above. This film was actually done two weeks or a week or so, somewhere between one to two weeks after the end of Gold Rush. There were still some goldens around. We had a great time catching and releasing them. We also used garlic salmon egg fire bait. Everybody knows Fluff is a fire bait lover. He caught a lot of fish on that back here. Now the third technique we used is what a lot of guys call the old strawberry shortcake. That is mixing a premium salmon egg with a natural deluxe. They think it works. I see it work, and you know what? I know all of our eggs work when fished properly. Come back here with light line, focus on fishing in any of the holes, and the further you walk, the better the fishing will be here in Cranberry River. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.